Hi, I'm Radon from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Tanya with me. Um, she has a super cute haircut that I wanted to show you guys. Um, she is a sweetheart. She's a hard, hard worker and anyway, a really good mom. So she's a cutie. Anyway, um, her haircut, we are going to go a little bit um, shorter through this area. She's having a hard time with it, you know, standing up and, and having volume. Uh, but we are going to leave her front as long as it is. So we'll just barely trim that, but we are going to take all this shorter. Um, and in the back, she likes to kind of lift it up um, for the volume too. So I'll show you when we go to style what we do there, but we're going to just bring this a little shorter up through here. This is a really good haircut for um, fine, thin hair. Um, Obviously, if you have more hair, this is a really cute cut also. You can, it's not that you can't wear it if you have thicker hair, you can. Um, <clears throat> you'll probably just want a little bit more texture um, than normal if you have, you know, thicker hair. Just so it helps it stand out and up. And I'll show you in the back, like I said, when we style it. So, up here, we're gonna bring this shorter. So it will stand up for her. And then we was talking and her, the way she styles it um, is perfect. She'll, you know, flip her head over and kind of give it that and blow dry it, you know, around so it has more body. But I'm gonna show you guys something. Um, her hair, the way her hair grows. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a tip on how to, um, when I go to style it on how to uh, help calyx. Like if you have a calyx or if you feel like your hair is flat in one area, it could be because of the way your hair grows. Um, but if you blow dry it a certain way, it can help a lot um, for sure. So anyway, I was going to show you guys that at the end of the video when we go to style it. So you can see that I'm taking you know, a lot more off of this back than the top, just because I want to make sure that this hair stands up for her a lot easier. Okay, now over here, just coming along there, through the top, and then, so you can just see, um, I really like to take vertical sections this way. Um, I can really keep track of where I've cut, and then I also can see um, the guide point, which means the hair that you have cut before. And that is, you know, it just shows you how short to cut it, the, you know, hair before that's cut. So yeah, she's ready for her hair to like have some life and stand up <laughs> a little bit for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the side. I'm gonna get here and take this off. Okay. Take this length off this way. Okay, now by this ear, so we're gonna leave this length here, but I'm gonna bring this length up a little bit shorter going up to the sides that way when she goes to you know dry it and stand it up it won't be flipping clear clear out here okay so you can see it's in just a little bit more um, than over here see over here that's the length that we started with this is the length now so you can see how much we've taken off Okay, so again, up here, we're gonna come down, vertical, and just follow that guide point on how short the other hair is. You doing good, Tanya? Oh yeah, you good? Okay. I'm good, yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow, that was really long back here, Tanya. <laughs> I know. That grew 
crazy this time. It did, it did. So I'm just I'm combing this forward, that front part. Yeah, I was telling her, so we talked about, you know, she's like, it's kind of driving me crazy. Like, do I just keep growing it since it's, you know, falling down kind of or anyway. And my opinion to her, which would be to you guys out there, if, if you're thinking, well, maybe I'll just grow it. It's not doing anything. Um, to be honest, when you do grow it <clears throat> with fine, thin hair, um, it really won't do much. I mean, you can, but what I'm trying to say is she is going to get a lot more volume and feel a lot better with her hair shorter just because it's fine and um, thin. And sorry, I'm just checking the length back here with my fingers. Anyway, and so I had talked her into going shorter back here and stuff and, and try that because going longer is only going to make it feel heavier and like it's falling more, um, like it's not standing up and doing anything. So anyway, that's my advice there. And then of course it makes a difference, you know, if you can use a thickening product, um, a spray, mousse, mousse is good for fine thin hair. So I'm just taking this off and I'm coming up to this front. Like I said, we're leaving the front as long as she has it now. So I'm just coming up to this, you know, just trimming up to that front. Okay. Now the sides, we're leaving the same. So what I'm doing is you can see I'm just barely coming and taking the tiny ends off. So just so it's clean cut but not any length, just barely trim that. So if you can see, just barely come on the sides here. Okay, and then over here, I wanna make sure that this back is connected to this front, which it pretty much is. We're just gonna barely trim this. And then this side, same thing, we're gonna hold this out, barely trim that. And this front, just barely trim that. Okay, and then we'll make sure that this side is connected here. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to just come up through her bangs. We're going to take a tiny bit off these ends just so they're fresh, but we are going to leave them longer. So you can see I'm just barely getting those little ends. Okay, now what we're going to do is texture. So with fine thin hair, you need to be uh, more careful than just going in and going at it. So um, I'm going to come through here. I am going to just take a little bit there. I You do need to come and put some in here, especially for this part to stick up, which she has a little bit more hair back here. Um, so you can just see I'm going in just a little bit here, um, just so it will stand up because without texture, fine hair can really just plop down too. It'll just fall. Even though it's not heavy, it's just so fine and limp that it'll just kind of fall. So the the texturizing is super, super good. Just be careful with, with fine hair. Um, and then I definitely would use a mousse. Mousse is light, so it's not gonna weigh the hair down. So we're gonna use the mousse. Then um, I'm going to put the volume and lift spray on it, and that will make it and look thicker. Okay, now I'm just going to shake this. You don't need much, just a few little squirts. Okay, now we're going to dry it. I'm going to show you right here. So her hair uh, grows in, it kind of twirls right here. Swirls, not twirls, swirls. <laughs> anyway, and it grows this way. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to go back and forth. You go this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. So of course it's wanting to go this way because it's obviously growing this way. So when you dry, I'm, I'm taking it this way for sure with the front. Maybe I'll turn it on low so you can hear me good. I would take your fingers and try to go against the way it grows and that calic. That way it will really help um, stand up instead of want to go back and just fall down the other way that it grows. So if you can take your fingers where that calic is and make sure you dry it over, 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 then when you go to take the flat iron to it, it will stand up, but um, it will go more to the other way. And of course, the longer you do that, um, it will kind of train itself. Hair is awesome. <laughs> it will kind of train itself to, to go more that way. But, you know, say she she's just to dry it. Well, the way it grows is the way it's gonna fall. So if you go against the way it grows, you're gonna, um, it'll help it so it doesn't just fall back into its normal spot. Okay, so back here, she likes to lift this. So we'll just take this and just dry this up. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the Epic brush. Okay, you go up and back and forth here. Give her a little massage. <laughs> okay. So now Yeah, that is my, and you can see right here, see, it's it's going more that way. Where if we would have just dried it, it would probably be, you know, angled more this way. But it's it's angled more this way, and you can see it grows this way, but it's, it's doing well, you know, after being dried that way. So if you can just do that, um, that will, that can really help. Okay, so we're going to lift this up. She likes her front kind of down here. Um, if I need to go shorter up here on top, then I will. But we're just going to lift this up with the flat iron. See how this goes. And then I'm excited because I feel with her short, or going shorter in the back, I feel like that will really help. Okay, and then I'm just pulling on these sides a little bit. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is lift this part up. She's gonna go forward with that. I'm just gonna cut into this, make sure that stands up for her. Make sure you point cut. It just helps give it different lengths. Okay, now we're going to take the styling paste. And I'm going to take, I just take a little, um, just dip my finger in it like that, and then just rub like this. I'm going to grab here in the back. And have this come down but lift this kind of out okay. and then I'm gonna take her bangs and I'll ask her if she wants more off the bangs, do you think? Or are they feels about right? Don't you think? Yeah, I think they... it feels about right. OK, 
Okay, sorry, I'm gonna turn into the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Now I'm just going to back home a little bit, put it into a spot. Um, so that probably, does that feel okay just right. having your fronts long at least, yeah. right? Yep. And that's what I was telling her because, you know, going a little bit shorter, it can always be scary for some. It's like, oh, I don't know if I want to go short, but it, there's just something about it. If it's longer around your face, the way you've had it, then it doesn't feel like you've been totally chopped off, you know what I mean? So going shorter is okay if the front and sides feel a little bit longer. It's just something in our heads that makes it, I don't know, it feels better. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so now, now that I back comb that, I'm gonna spray it and then just put it back into place. And again, sorry, I'm gonna turn her to the mirror <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. Does that feel better? Yeah. The yeah. It's like actually sticking up. <laughs> yeah. That's doing a lot better. Good. Good, good. Yeah, that's really cute on you. All right, you guys. Well, thank you, Tanya, so, so much. I'm going to turn her around one more time. <laughs> and you can see the back, how it's just lifted. So it makes it look like she has more hair back here, too. So, okay. All right, well, thank you so much, Tanya. Thanks out there for everybody's support. Um, I really appreciate it. And of course, I hope you have a fantastic day. And um, products, anything like that, brushes, um, are in the description below. Um, there's a link you can click on and there should be products down there. And I'm working on getting more. So have a good day and we'll see you next time. See ya. Okay.